What's up, little android? Sonic Fan Gal here, and I figured I'd just do a little vlog thing. Um, yeah, it's just been one of those days. So, long story short, this week has been different. It really has. I mean, I had a good Halloween. It was it was fine. Um. My mom, yesterday, she got into a car accident, and it damaged her back bumper, and it was on the interstate. She got herself hurt, and my grandmother is fine. Um, yeah, so I had to deal with that yesterday, and on top of everything else, I found out that my Happy Together Your Boyfriend book got removed due to policy, um policy breaking <laughs> yeah so I feel like that's kind of my fault I mean I had a feeling that I probably should have changed my story to mature I didn't think about it because at the time I just thought I mean I've seen other stories on there that aren't set to a mature setting and they're usually over 18 so I didn't think about it and I probably should have. I don't know. I I don't know if somebody reported me. I don't know if Wattpad just somehow decided that my story was against policy standards. I don't know. So now I'm having to start all over on that. And I feel like I keep losing subscribers. <laughs> I don't think I am, but there's still part of me that's worried about it. It's just been different. It's been a rough week, and I've had a lot on my mind. I've been really down and out and depressed. I've had just a lot of stuff come up in my personal life that is just out the roof, and I can't figure out how to stop it. Um, don't worry, I'm not feeling any bad thoughts or anything. It just... I need a vent, and sometimes it feels good to vent to a stranger rather than to somebody you know. So I'm having a lot of issues with my job. I worry about that sometimes, that maybe I don't do a good enough job. I worry sometimes about my YouTube account, like what if I'm not getting enough subscribers? What if I'm not doing well? And now I worry about my stories because I didn't think that I would ever get reported, you know? And so now I'm worried about that too. And I'm like, well, what, what's next? What's going to come for me next? Because while that was my fault, it still really makes me upset because, like I said, there's a lot more worse stories on Wattpad that are not rated M, and they probably should be. And I mean... I just, I don't know why my story had to get picked on, I guess. And I mean, I'm not trying to have beef with anybody. That's not what I'm saying. Um, because I, for me, I don't really rate anything anyway. And like, if somebody wants to say something, oh, well, this content's rated this much, I just leave it alone. I mean, I don't sit there and nitpick everything they do. Like, oh, well, they said this and it's this. And I don't do that. So... I try not to be that way with people. I always try to be the type that's like, you know, um, how I live is how I live. I can't sit there and, you know, tell someone how they should live. That's the way I've tried to always be like. And it's hard. It's really hard because sometimes it feels like that I just constantly get crap for that. And maybe it's just my own insecurity. I, I don't know. But I always talk to my fiance and I always tell him, I'm like, you know, I'm worried about the subscriber count. I worry sometimes if I'm not going to make it. I worry that I'm never going to be up there, you know? I worry sometimes about my books. <laughs> like, Sonic X2, while I'm glad it's been getting reads and stuff, I do worry sometimes that I'm like, what if I can't do it? Like, what if there's something there, you know? And... I've got writer's block now because I've got so much stuff going on in my head and so much stress 
And in case you're wondering why this is here, it's because I have you in a cabinet. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a stand. So this is this is the redneck stand. <sighs> I just feel really confused and I feel like I feel awful. Like last night I was bawling so hard because my story was gone and like I worked really hard on that. And I mean, I don't know why someone would have thought that I was glorifying anything. For one thing, I even dedicated an entire chapter telling people I'm not glorifying nothing. Like, none. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I can't figure it out. I can't figure any of this out. And so now I'm having to start all over on a book that I have a memory issue, but I am still going to write it. I still actually have it published on Wattpad, and you can check it out. It's just a revised version, and I'm trying to go off my memory the best I can, because uh, when I was 16, I smacked my head on concrete in Kentucky Splash when I was 16, and I think it just, it did something to me. Because I used to have the memory of an elephant. Like, I could remember anything. Now I can't even remember what I did yesterday. Yeah. So, I just need thoughts and prayers, if you don't mind. Um, my mom, she's, she's fine, by the way. Uh, my mom and my grandmother, thank God they're okay. Um... Yesterday, I'm out of gas. I don't have any money on me right now. And so, when I got a phone call telling me that my mom got in an accident, I couldn't leave. And, like, if it weren't for my mom calling me to tell me that she's okay, I would have gone to the neighbors or gone somewhere and screamed to the heavens. So, the thought of me possibly losing my mom and losing my grandmother in the same day... And then my book gets deleted. And then just dealing with stress and worry that, you know, what if I'm not doing a good enough job? Yeah, it's definitely heart-wrenching. It's, it's a lot. And um, I am engaged, and I'm supposed to be getting married next year. I still live at home with my parents. Um, so that's why I have this house. Uh, this is actually the house I grew up in. Um, I'm getting married next year, and I worry sometimes, and I think about things, because me being the oldest, I've always been the one that has to take care of everyone and be there for everyone. Like, I am there for everybody all the time. And when I was a young kid, when I was like... 10 or 11, I used to have to babysit my brother. My brother is uh, 22 months younger than me. And so I had to sit there and watch him all while dealing with all this other stuff. So, I mean, I've always been a more mature person. I've always tried to be anyway. Of course, the head injury that I had gotten at 16 definitely dumbed me down a bit. So I definitely have a hard time. So, I know some parts of my story aren't going to be the same, and maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. I know everything happens for a reason, and I've been trying my best to think as to why it would have happened to me. And I mean, other than the fact that maybe I should have made it mature, maybe that's what did it. Because I didn't. I didn't make it mature. I had this feeling, you know those gut feelings that you get? Yeah, I had one, and I've had one for, the, like, the past couple months about changing it to mature, and I just didn't even think about it. I was like, well, I mean, my story isn't that bad. I mean, I've seen others. Like, I've been on Wattpad since 2015. I was a freshman in high school when I first started it, and, like, I've read a lot of stories, a lot of fan fiction, a lot of nonfiction. You name it, I've probably read it. So, it's just, it's weird to me that now all of a sudden, all this stuff is happening. And I can't wrap my brain around it. 
The only thing I can think of is that, you know, maybe this is supposed to be the way it's supposed to go. I don't know. I, I try to think about stuff like that. I'm a Christian, and so I believe that sometimes God lets things happen for a reason. So, maybe that's, that's something. <laughs> I mean, that's really the only thing I can think of. I mean, I don't understand why all this stuff is happening all at once. And I'm trying to figure that out as well. So, just bring hopes and prayers for me because it's, it's definitely been difficult. And you know, with Christmas coming up, I was thinking, you know, maybe I should decorate for Christmas this Sunday. That's what I was planning. And I was thinking, you know, that would be nice. It'd be fun. And then I was thinking, I was like, you know, this is the last Christmas you're going to have with your family in this house. So it's like, whoa. <laughs> I've always tried to be close to my family. I, I've tried. I mean, my family's always been the type that's always been, like, awkward with each other. They're, they're very cordial and very professional. We don't show a lot of affection. We don't show a lot of, hey, I know you. Matter of fact, we actually act like we don't know each other at all whatsoever. And we are so private, it's ridiculous. And I've never wanted to be that way. Like, if I ever have a family of my own, I don't want my kids growing up to be like, oh, well, my mom is just a family member or something. It's it's stuff like that that just runs right through me because I was raised that way and it's like you don't need to be ashamed of your family like I mean I get it for certain things like certain situations but I mean like for example one of my uncles was a serial killer and I mean I don't sit there and go and describe it in every detail but at the same time, I mean, you should at least acknowledge some things that way you can steer away from it, you know? I guess that's just the way I view things. <sighs> it's just been uh, uh, something. It's been something. <laughs> and I don't really know why I make these vlogs sometimes, but I feel like with me, I've always wanted to have a group of friends that I can go to and vent to and then the same for me. And so I guess I make these videos because I want friends. I don't want subscribers. That's why I call you guys little androids. That, that's what I call friends <laughs> because um, I like the Android phone and it just came to me one day. I was about nine or 10 when I started calling people little androids. And that's why I used to call myself was a little android. <laughs> it's weird. I know, but that's what I call you guys. It's not because, you know, I'm trying to be some dictator and ignore Buckeye. He, he screams a lot. <laughs> but, um, that's why I always try to uh, feel for subscribers. I don't want people to feel like, oh, well, she's just some YouTuber. I want to be friends. I want a connection with people. And, I mean, I'm kind of old school that way, but I always try to treat my subscribers as people. I don't want them to feel like, you know, how they probably would outside of the world. I want to feel, I want them to feel loved and respected. I mean, even if you're not a Christian, I still pray for people, but I mean, I don't sit there and say a bunch of judgmental things because that's... That's not what you're supposed to do. And I know that's a lot of speculation, but it's not. So, that's the only thing I know to do. And, you know, maybe my book wasn't considered gracious enough, maybe. I mean, there's a lot of things that I could think of. But I guess this is just a small little vlog thing. I will be making an, a video soon. Hopefully next week, hopefully, but until then I thought I would just check in with you guys and just talk to you because that's, that's really all I feel anymore. I feel like, you know, even though everything else is falling apart, at least I still have you. So, um, 
if you like this little vlog thing, just hit the like button. And if you want to be a part of my little Android community, you can be sure you subscribe. I'm trying to get up to 600 subs. That's the main goal here, at least. And also, if you want to check out Wattpad and check out my books, you can. I've got Snow Dado. I've got Raindrop. I've got um, May the Weatherman Come, which is a pirate story. I've got um, the Happy Together thing that's been revised now. And I have Sonic X 2. And if you've seen me on my previous videos before, I have made a lot about Sonic X 2. And I'm super excited for it. I'm also excited for Sonic Frontiers, which is a week away from now. So, yeah. But... I love you, little androids. God bless. And remember, this isn't goodbye forever. This is just goodbye for now. I'll see you.